If you want to make a mask just like this to make your photos pop, continue watching. Oh, yeah. So as you can see, um, I've already st kind of like started the mask, um, but I got this mask from um, Villainous Props. I'm gonna put the uh, the link in the description for you guys. Um, they they do like a ton of variations of different mask uh, 3D printed. So and it was really inexpensive. I think I got this for like twenty five dollars with free shipping. Like they're dope. You know what I'm saying? So Villainous Props definitely that's the name of the actual thing. Villainous Props. P R O P S. P R wait, P R O P S. Yeah. <laughs> Um, villainous props. I'll keep the, the, the link in the description for you guys. With that being said, like I say, I did start um, kind of masking off the mask. It didn't originally come black. I uh, kind of started sanding. I used um, some like really, really, uh, well, I guess if the numbers go up, you're talking high grit. Um, I think it was like a thousand grit papers. It was really fine, fine, fine. Uh, sandpaper really like almost almost really no major um grit to it but yeah so i masked off the teeth i already have kind of like a more or less a design of what i want to do um i masked off the teeth i bought i went to hobby lobby like i said i bought this flat satin i think satin really does a number with these um these masks i think they look so much better satin like gloss Maybe some parts would should would be good to be glossed, but honestly, I like I like flat. The flat colors really really show on this like really really well. Um, so I bought this uh, Krylon. Uh, what is it called? Where is the name? Where is it? okay? There it is. Uh, Pimento satin. So satin gives that flat back flat you know red up uh, look to that color. Uh, metallic gold. The gold, metallic gold is gonna be for the for the teeth. So I'm gonna have the teeth be actual like a chromey type of gold. Um, white is probably gonna end up being for the teeth, but I'm also gonna do a little bit of um, scuffing on the teeth to kind of give it that almost real kind of look. Give it some dirt under like the gum area a little bit. Put those some dirt there. Stuff I used to do back when I was in art school. Like, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this looks dope. Um, I saw these though, and I was like, yo, like, I'm gonna definitely, I'm gonna, my, my theme for this is definitely give it like a steampunk type of feel, like a steampunk mask type of feel. So I wanna put these little gold nubs, like maybe somewhere around here, and these little edges or, or, or something. Um, I bought these, cause I just saw them, they look gold, they were cool. I was like, you know what, okay, I could probably, uh, do some some uh, glue gun stuff and put these little random holes, like you know what I'm saying, like maybe around the mask, maybe two here, maybe two on that side. Keep everything symmetrical. Maybe one down here, like at the chin, along with these. You know, kind of give it that breezy look. Um, yeah. So the next thing I bought was um this like leathery corky like it looks like a cork almost but they're leather strips and I was gonna put a couple holes in here to um kind of wrap the this little leather strappings these little thin leather strappings through here and just kind of cross cross hatch them you know like almost like they're band-aid crossing I can't, I can't do this with one hand <laughs> but yeah I'm trying to cross hatch them together like you know what I mean like cross hatch them um to give it the appearance of you know, like a like it's coming together, or it's 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 being pulled together kind of thing. Um, that and I got my pack of screws because um, don't know if I'm gonna, if I'm going to be using this particular strap. I got this strap off of my uh, like my respirator mask. You know, when this whole stuff happened, I bought like this like painter's mask. Like you know what you know the mask that painters use, and it has like these little big round circle things on the side for you to breathe. That's what this strap is from. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna use this strap specifically, but I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use this little notch right here. Just, just probably this piece. Not necessarily even this because I bought, one, I bought more industrial type of uh, strap here. So this is basically just like this, but way more heavy duty. 
my boy, shout out to my uh, my, my good friend, uh, Kenyatta. He, he also bought a mask, but his is like different. His is a lion. Like, it looks dope. And I, I told him, I was like, I wanted to get that mask, man, but... He's, his whole thing is like lion. That's his that's his like thing. So I was like, bet, get the lion. I get the samurai demon mask and let's go. I, what I'm trying to do with this is like really create like dope uh, footage. This is really just creating props as the title says. I'm just creating props to make your car photos like doper. You know what I'm saying? Like doing stuff like, I'll probably have a, uh, some examples kind of flash over the uh, over the video. That way you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. You know, people taking photos with like the mask and, and, and stuff like that. I think I think it's dope. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of want to put my spin on it and throw, throw my hat into the into the pile. You know what I mean? Um, and the last things I bought, um, and I did tell you guys about the white paint. Uh, it's a flat, flat white. So I got it small because I don't know any more parts that I may do white. Um, so that's with that. Um, and I bought these little uh, buckles, these little, these strap adjusters. Um, I bought two for the top, two for the bottom. That's just, you know, for when I do, for when I do these and I cut them and then I gotta do the bottom part. Like I wanna make sure that it's gonna be secure on me and I can be able to use the straps to extend or not extend, you know what I mean? So that I'm gonna be definitely doing with that. Um, with that being said, I think we good. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I may not get to painting today, but I'm definitely gonna get you guys prepped uh, with what I'm doing with it right now. So this may be a relatively long video, I'm not too sure. So let me stop talking, let me go ahead and start getting stuff ready for you guys, let's do it.
All right, guys, you can see I just masked off the, uh, the nose. There's another bit of a design I wanna do with the chin. Maybe do like a strip that comes down here and kind of goes off on both sides since the chin is a very prominent part of this, uh, to me at least, it's, the, it's like a real prominent part of the uh, design on this mask outside of the teeth and nose. Um, so yeah, I wanna do like a nice little strip that comes down. I don't, I mean, I don't know really, I, I, I got a design in mind, like I told you guys, but I don't know if I wanna do the whole mask in red and then put the gold um, teeth and then maybe the white on the, uh, the teeth and then maybe the white on the nose, but I definitely wanna have parts of it black. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that was the purpose of me painting it black aside from um, masking it off and stuff like that. So that's what I want to do. Um, I don't know, I don't know if I wanna, I don't know if I wanna do that. Um, but I do, I do a little something. I, I figure something out. Um, I'm thinking about keeping this part, the nose, this part right here black, and then maybe doing the strip right here, like this part of the nose gonna be red, and maybe, uh, maybe white around here, like maybe white here and then red here, white and black, and then the teeth is gonna be white, and then maybe these little parts right here could be, I'm thinking red or white, I don't want too much white. That's that's what I don't want. I don't want too much white. I want to definitely just put little accents of white on this. Um, so I may, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. I'm going to mask off some other parts on the mask. And what I'll do is I'll start getting ready for it tomorrow for paint. Um, obviously, for you guys, it'll be the same day because you're going to watch through the whole video. This is going to definitely be, for me, a two-day uh, process because it's nighttime right now. So um, as you can see, like I said, I drew the holes in. The uh, these strips should be able to fit in there with no problem. I want it to be tight because that's why I use the uh, I use this one sixteenth. This one here on the little the little small one, the little really really small one on the uh, drill bit. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna mask up some more areas that I think that the design would be good with. Um, the one thing I hate is color. Like I don't like, um, the one thing I hate is, uh, trying to put together when, when it, when it comes to design, like I, that's the one thing I'm like, <laughs> you know, I trying to put nice aesthetically pleasing colors together. You know, that's, that's hard sometimes. Um, but I think I'll come together with something. Once I figure out the design, um, and lay the design down, I'll figure out what goes there. So yeah, we will, I'm gonna continue, you know, masking the areas off, let's go. y'all as you can see it's like a super super rainy day i'm in the garage obviously this is like my workspace um i kind of did a couple things off camera to uh kind of speed up the process on um 
on the Oni mask. Uh, as you can see, I drilled, I'm gonna kind of go through from beginning to end. I kind of drilled these holes in like little spots that I would feel that would give more accent to these, uh, you know, the little gold pieces. Uh, so I kind of, you know, I gave it like a, almost like it's a bowed earring, you know, in your nose, like a nose ring. And I did one right here. And what's dope about these is that once you make the, the hole, I mean, these, uh, these little things here can flare out and kind of like, I don't have to really glue anything because the hole is just big enough to slide these through and sturdy enough that all I have to do is open these and they never move. It doesn't flop around or anything like that. So, you know, I've been working the drill like that. And I also um, put some holes in here on the side just for aesthetic purposes um, and to also made the holes big enough for these. Let me kind of open one and show you guys where I'm going with it. Because again, the teeth are gonna be gold, so I'm trying to give it a little more, a few more accents of, uh, of gold. So these pieces, which are very like tiny, <laughs> I would put these like, let's see if I can set the camera. Let's face it towards you guys so you guys can see. So this would go more or less like right in here. Let's see if I can squeeze on there. It was a little, the way I did the holes is, was like, because these don't have anything to like flare out, I may put uh, maybe a little bit of like a glue gun type adhesive to the back of this. That way it doesn't come out. But yeah, the, the, the goal is to like, basically, I have a hole here, but this is, the mask is covering it because I'm gonna be masking a lot of this off. But the goal is to have a circle here, circle here, circle here, and then put these gold accents, you know, right inside there and it, it'll line up here. You know what I mean? Like gold, gold, gold. And then have the, the other gold piece on the two nose tops and obviously the bottom. Um, these holes on the side, I put these holes because I wanted to wrap this, uh, it's almost like a leather cord, like leather cork. And I wanted to kind of loop it around, but I, I realized I'm gonna make the hole bigger because right now that hole is only small enough to put one at a time. And I wanna give it like the look of a bunch being wrapped in. You know what I mean? Like cross hatch this way and then cross hatch this way. So I'm gonna make the holes bigger on that one. Um, I didn't kind of think that one through. I just had the idea in my mind, but I didn't like think it through in terms of how big the holes really needed to be. So I'm gonna make those holes bigger and you're not gonna even really see that. And I also did the same side over here, but I did more. Like I did like eight holes all together. But again, these holes are still too small. So I'm gonna probably have to divide them like one here one hole here and one hole here, same thing here. They're gonna be bigger and then I can just cross hatch, you know, one, bam, bam, like, you know, cut across, cut down, cut across, cut down with this and then tie it up in the back because it, it'll tie up in the back as well. Um, I still <laughs> haven't figured out a, a, a color, a color palette yet for it. I'm thinking I'm gonna go across here and then leaving this top part one color and then maybe leaving the bottom black with like accents of another color. I don't really know as of yet, I really don't. Um, another thing I'm gonna do is repaint the, uh, the black because um, I don't like the shininess of this. I like flat colors, especially on like these masks. I've seen a couple of these masks before and they, they look really, really dope um, with flat, non-glossy colors. So I'm definitely gonna go back over with this again with the remaining like flat black uh, paint that I have. So let's go through the steps, let's keep going.
All right, so while the mask is uh, finishing up that matte satin uh, black paint cure, um, so while that's getting dried, I'm going to kind of meet myself halfway and um, start putting together the straps. I've already started kind of doing one here, trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. These little clips, like I told you guys, these right here, these uh, fasteners, I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can get it from any type of hobby-ist type store that have like arts and crafts and stuff. You can definitely get those. Um, I couldn't find these or I didn't look hard enough to find these, this little clip. Um, but I had a, a, one of my little paint, you know those paint masks that have like the little circle things on the side, like I told you guys. I, I just snatched that off there. Yeah, it's a little small, but it's doing the job. I mean, I, obviously, I'm going to probably look online and see if I can find something that's a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit more sturdier and not so flexible of a plastic. But what's going to happen, essentially, what's going to happen is when I put the, uh, when I put this through the mask, I'm going to drill. That's why I got a really small screw so it doesn't dig me in the face when I have the mask on. But I got a really small screw that I'm gonna put in maybe halfway like that, it sticks out. And then this will clip in like that. So now it's gonna be, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it to where it's like, it never has to come off the screw. So that's why this big elastic, you know, bungee type of material um, all I gotta do is just put the mask on. I don't, I don't ever have to clip this off because I think after con, you know a few pulling out, pulling on, pulling out, it's this plastic is gonna break. Uh, it's it's not as sturdy. I probably should get maybe like a metal one in the future. Um, but I mean, it's gonna do it's gonna do for the job for right now. Um, and this is how it looks. This is how it came out. Shout out to uh, my boy uh, Kenyatta. I put his Instagram. He's like I say, he's another good. Uh, photographer really dope um he has his mask too we're gonna do like a a photo shoot with these masks uh, once his get done and he it's crazy because he's at he's he's always asking me to figure out how to you know how to do it this is like his first time kind of doing something like this so i figured you know what this will be useful for anybody trying to do like props or you know adding that little extra flair to your photos like doing these little Oni mask type stuff. And, it, and his mask is dope because his whole thing is like lions. Like that's his thing, right? Um, so he went and got from Villainous Props, which I, again, I have their description. I have their Etsy page on in the description below. Um, they had like a lion uh, mask, right? So I got like the Oni demon mask. He has the the uh the lion mask and there's like a bunch of them i'm gonna i'm gonna probably end up picking up all of them the ones that i leave that, that i really want and just doing a bunch of different mass variations um but yeah we're gonna do a dope uh photo shoot he he also has a camaro like he he's he's he has a nice car too um and we're gonna do like a dope little photo shoot so that i can't we really can't wait for that because it's gonna be like really dope um, but yeah, this is basically, you know what I'm saying? I, I took the, this little elastic piece, it's just called elastic <laughs> from a company. I guess the people that make it is called Sewology. So it's, I guess it's made to like sew into fabric and stuff like that. But I mean, it's, it has like, almost like a, the, 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 the uh, feel and texture of it is definitely gives me like a cyberpunk kind of feel. Um, definitely gives me cyberpunk vibes with the way the, the texture looks on this. So I trimmed off what I needed and then you just kind of go and, and take the, uh, take these little clips, like I told you, the, the strap adjusters and you just fasten it the way I fastened the other one. It's pretty simple. Surprisingly, I mean, this is, I would say this is like my first time doing a mask. I mean, I've, I've created sculptures and stuff like that when I was in like college and stuff like that. But like to be able to do this mask, like it's it's a different vibe. So it's always, it's always trial and error the first time. And then the next few ones, the next, the next ones I get is gonna be like surprisingly easy. But this has actually gone 
so far step by step. My biggest fear is just making sure that this paint does what it say. Like my biggest fear is hoping that this paint is actually as chromey as, they, as they're making it out to be. I want, I want the teeth on that um, mask to be really, really chromed out. And then, I, like I said before, I got this uh, this red satin paint and primer red. So I'm hoping that looks the way I imagine it to look. And even if it doesn't, like I say, this is the first mask, and this is going to be the first of many that I will get. So I'm not I'm not I'm not tripping on it too much. All right, guys. I um, <clears throat> I came across some of this uh, automotive pin striping. This is like the, the the striping that you can put like on the side of like a car or whatever. I'm gonna use that to actually give the mass a little bit of a. Again, I'm trying to go for that cyberpunkish kind of look. I'm gonna add some. To me, cyberpunk is like really, you know, sharp lines, sharp edges, um, lights. More likely with the lights is usually like a like a pink and like a light blue, that type of thing. But I'm gonna go different route with the actual color of the mask. But the actual striping, I'm gonna do on the mask. Like I may put a stripe like right up here on the cheek, here, and that's gonna be a different color. Maybe like white and it'll come down here because this bottom part is going to stay black. The top part is going to be red. Um, this tape you see right here, that's going to be a big white line right there. Same thing on the other side right there. But the rest of everything is going to be black on the bottom. The teeth are going to be obviously white. Um, and I think I'm going to do this part of the nose probably white as well. That's also taped off as well. Um, or I may leave it black, I don't know. But this top part is definitely getting painted right now red, so. But I'm gonna add some striping, some pin striping on the, uh, probably throughout this, just to see the design. You know, I'm really kind of freestyling this, y'all, so don't, you know, I I try to go in with like a theme, but I kind of do better when I just kind of freestyle stuff and just kind of let it let it happen as it go along, so. Uh, when I'm done with the pinstripe and I have you guys, uh, I, I'll show you guys what I'm coming up with. Alright guys, as you can see, I actually feel a little, little good about it. Like I'm loving how it's coming out. See, you know, as you can see, the, the, the flat red is actually really popping. That's looking kind of beast right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was a little like skeptical on the paint and everything, but I had a, 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 a design in my mind and I just went with it. I just went with it. Like I wanna give it that also that grungy um, kind of feel and look too. So, you know, I want the paint not to be, you know, maybe parts of it to be sort of kind of clumpy, but not. So I'm, I'm willing to accept any imperfections because I really want it to be, you know, like it's a cyberpunk type thing. It's not gonna be clean. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna scuff it up. I'm gonna get like probably like um like a really high grit sandpaper and just kind of scuff up certain edges, like you know, right around the nose and right around maybe the cheek area. As you can see, these little flaps are that uh that strip that I told you guys about. And I put two up here uneven so this is shorter than that line right there um and a line there and a line there of course so i'm gonna do one more coat because i'm loving how it's looking i really am <laughs> i was a little skeptical at first but i'm really liking how it's coming out right now hey guys um so i didn't want to bore you guys with the full painting uh and i think on a level of difficulty this is like probably a seven, eight, a high eight, low seven, um, or high seven, low eight, something like that. 
Um, it's just really all boils down to patience. How how much long, like how, how much longer do you want to wait for something to dry? Is what was happening with me, like with the paint, and yeah, I got like one. I think one out of the three paints were quick dry, and the other ones, I mean, it's almost like you can just stand there for about 30, 45 minutes, and it's still kind of damp. But I mean, this is what it came out to be. Now I'm not done. As you can see, I'm still holding it by the back. <laughs> but I think it came out pretty good. Um, I had to do some touch-ups. There was a, a few pieces of runs here and there. Um, the metallic came out okay. I really wanted it to be like super, super chromy, chromy on the teeth. But you know what? It came out okay. I'm not, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at it. But I mean, it came out pretty good. I mean, I think, I think it came out pretty as best that I can probably make with the time that I was given. Again, I'm trying to punch this out video wise, but I think it came out pretty good. I think it came out pretty good. I still got the, the gold pieces and the ropes and stuff like that to put in. But yeah, probably the last, the next video you'll see is me kind of putting that together and, and finalizing the, uh, the mask. Tell me what you think. <laughs> It's going to look really dope with the photo. I hope you guys can hear me. It's going to look really dope with what I have planned for my video. So this is it, complete. Hope you guys liked it. All right, guys, and it's final completion. Here's a spin around. <laughs> um, again, I know this is a little different from the content that I usually post on my, on my uh, channel. Um, but you guys know that I'm into photography. I'm into, you know, cinematography as well. Like this channel is just not, it's just not gonna be about installs and, and putting tires on the car. You know what I mean? It's gonna be, um, I told you guys, I'm gonna work on short films and they're, they're gonna be all car related. Just know that. Um, but I'm definitely gonna be working with a lot of different uh, subjects on Stage of the Media because it's just not an install channel. It's gonna be a lot more than that. Um, and this is like definitely a huge step in the direction of what's to come with Stage of the Media. This is just, again, this is me trying to help you guys, trying to make props to help your photography kind of go to the next level. Um, when you can do stuff like this by hand and just go ahead and, and make it work and be creative with it, this is what it's all about to me, you know. Um, I will put villainous props, uh, Etsy page in the description so you guys can, you know, he has a ton more other masks you guys can get into. Um, he's into, they're into a lot of cosplay stuff, so it's a lot of, you know, different types of, you know, characters uh, from across all the comic books and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, they also do the, you know, these type of masks and everything like that. So you guys take a look at their page. Um, not in nowhere sponsored by them or anything. I just think they make cool stuff and allow people to just do creative things like this. Um, but with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Um, go out and create, make art, do stuff. Um, but you will see more stuff like this on my channel um, as you know, time progress and everything like that. So again, love everybody. Just love, be grateful, and stay driven, one.